Hello students, in this vocabulary video, remember vocabulary videos the ones that you actually draw the pictures to, you're going to explore the parts of a lever. Just like always with a vocabulary video, draw whatever you see and then make an original sentence for each point. For number one, write lever. So a lever is a rigid bar that pivots or moves back and forth at a fixed, which means like a stationary point, called a fulcrum. Uh, the original sentence is there. A lever moves back uh, back and forth on a fulcrum. So make sure you have your own original sentences. That's the only one I'm going to give you. And then let me show you a picture. And remember, rewind the video if it's going too fast. So I'll cover the original sentence in a minute. But if you just follow with me here, and then you can keep writing notes. So the load, let's say here's how much, to like, your, like the weight, what you're putting on there. And then here's the effort, like how much you have to push down to move it. And this is a simple machine that works with this bar right here. And then it, it pivots all in the middle here, which is called a fulcrum. And it usually makes it easier to move a, a load the, the, the longer the lever is. So this whole system of a lever moving a load is called a simple machine that has a mechanical advantage. So if we go ahead and create the original sentence and then draw this picture of a lever. All right, let's move on to the next point. So number two, write fulcrum. Fulcrum is a fixed point within the lever system that can move the load. So in, in the drawing you have, the fulcrum, the middle part here, is what is reducing the amount of effort or work you have to do to pick up the load. So the fulcrum is where the whole lever system tilts. So go ahead and create an original sentence on the word fulcrum. And then draw this picture um, again very briefly, and then just make sure you label it fulcrum. All right, let's move on to number three. The last point for today is mechanical advantage. We read about that today. So mechanical advantage is just when humans have figured out how to reduce the amount of effort with the help of a simple machine, like a lever. So maybe if you've gone to the Science Center, I'm going to put up a picture, and then you can make up your original sentence. And you've seen this thing right here. Uh, and you can pick up the pickup truck, and uh, a bunch of you probably ran towards it, it picked up a pickup truck, but it's what it's telling you here that here's the load or the weight. Let me use a different color. See right there, a pickup truck, thousands of kilograms or, or pounds. If you try to pick it up here, the closer you are to the fulcrum, the more effort, more work you have to do. The farther you get from the fulcrum, the longer the lever, or the farther you are from the fulcrum, the less work you have to do to pick it up. Your body, of course, is used to using this. Uh, most organisms are using these mechanical advantages so that it's less um, effort to do more work. So, now you know the reason you can pick up a pickup truck uh, at the Science Center, if, if you've ever been there before, is because of that lever and that fulcrum, reducing the effort of the load. Go ahead and draw these three uh, levers. Well, we're going to take notes on them, but we're not going to draw them. The, point, uh, the part to draw them is now. And there you can see the first class lever, the second class lever, like a wheelbarrow, mm -hmm. and then the third class lever, which is like your arm. So go ahead and draw those three kinds of levers, create your original sentence, and then move on to the next step. Have a good day.